Hi, my name is Adam Clark and this is part of Game School. Each week I'm going to be exploring loads of different ways we can make computer games using free or nearly free software on your computer or laptop. These videos are going to be a series of Walk With Me tutorials that explore the amazing game making software called Stencilworks. Stencilworks is a game studio in a box and it's free. Um, it's a sort of 2D flash game creation bit of software and it will soon have iOS tools as well. So you could be playing these, these games on your, your iPhone or iPad soon. It boasts an intuitive tool set that integrates seamlessly with the Stencil ecosystem and exclusive collaboration and sharing features that we have in making Flash games in a Flash. I'm probably going to put a link to their YouTube video as well so you can kind of see um, them. They explain it much, much, much better than I can. Anyway, what this is, is basically a Walk With Me tutorial, which is me and you going ha holding hands and gently kind of going through the initial half hour, they call it half hour tutorial. Um, uh, it's a way that uh, I can sort of start to learn this sort of software and also it's a way that I can start to sort of teach and also collaborate with others who want to start, try and use this kind of stuff as well. Um, so let's just dive in shall we? Okay, uh, after you've downloaded Stencil, um, Stencil Works uh, and got it up and running, um, oh did I mention it was for a PC and for a Mac as well? Well I'm running it on a Mac so um, uh, hopefully it'll look pretty similar. Uh, if it doesn't, my apologies. But I think we get the, the gist of it. Uh, so we should end up looking something like this. Run through our crash course, it says 30 minutes. I've kind of run through a little bit more of it uh, and it takes a little bit longer. But that's maybe because I'm chatting away all the time. So let's just uh, let's press this one and uh, off we trot. So crash course one, let's make a game. Uh, introduction. Welcome to Stencil Works. In this short hands-on tutorial, tutorial, we will walk you through the steps needed to create a simple platformer. Specifically, we'll show you how to create a new game, import resources from Stencil Forge, set up controls and collision groups, customize actors, create a scene, test the game, and publish a game. Now, uh, we're probably just going to do the first three. So let's get going. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. When you first load up Stencil Works, you see a screen like this. There it all is in front of you. Uh, and this is what's known as the Welcome Center. And there's a little tab up here. So let's click the next page below to begin the tutorial. Uh, creating a new game. From the Welcome screen, fine, but don't yet click on whoa, um, uh, this click here to create a new game. Uh, you want to read through this page first before clicking on the square. The create a new game wizard pops up in front of Stencil Works, which prevents you from scrolling and reading any more of this stuff here. So you can kind of scroll down here and kind of read the whole thing. So uh, I've done this before, so I think I really know what I'm doing. So, but when you do it, just uh, just go through all this kind of stuff. Do read it through. Basically, we'll, you'll see me do it now. So we're going to click on here. We're going to go down. and We're going to get a blank game. So uh, we'll press next, and we're going to call this something like what they called it. I don't know. Te oh, let's call it a test game. Test game. Okay. And description. Let's put a capital T in there. And description. My first game. And uh, 640 by 4. Well, I haven't really got um, 416. I mean, we make it custom. Oh, yeah, let's do a custom one. So 6 by 4. 4. 16. We're going to custom size it and uh, we'll press create. Okay, so here we go. Next page. Uh, importing resources. From the game center, we can create new resources or import existing ones from Stencil Forge. So, Stencil Forge is like their online repository of uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. People have made stuff and you can kind of pop it, pop it up there. You can even make stuff and pop it up there eventually. And I hope to, uh, I hope what we'll do is uh, on this channel, this will create loads of different bits and pieces and we'll be able to share stuff backwards and forwards all the time. Let's use Stencil Forge to grab an actor, some behaviors, and a tile set of our game. Uh, importing an actor. We'll start by grabbing an actor that will serve as our playable character. Note, in Stencil, anything can move or be interacted with is considered an actor. This includes playable characters, enemies, user interface elements, etc. Uh, first, find and press the Stencil Forward button in the main toolbar, which is up here. Um, the Stencil Forge home stream appears, which I think this is a kind of inbuilt um, uh, HTML. Uh, notice all of the categories on the left hand side. Since we'll be looking to grab an actor, click the actors item. So there's all this stuff down here. So we're going to go actors. And um, and uh, let's, let's type mambo. Mambo. And press return. 
and that should get us up this little green little chap down here. So we're going to click on that, and then down here we've got download. So we'll just uh, click on download. Now, I've been madly clicking download hundreds of times, and you, it uh, it doesn't really like it. Uh, so this works. Downloads the actor into your computer and immediately opens inside the actor editor. The actor editor is one of several resource editors inside Stencil Works. It allows you to completely customize an actor's appearance, uh, behavior, and physical properties. So it looks like we've got looping, we've got behaviors, we've got collisions, physics, and other bits and pieces. So which is really cool. I uh, will come back to this editor soon, but for now let's return to Stencil Forge and download the rest of the resources. So I think what I'll do is um, is I'll do that really quickly. Okay. So um, Import a tile set. A tile set is a simple collection of rectangular tiles. Oh, pronger. There we go. Go back to Stencil Forge. Pronger, pronger. So maybe we'll speed this section up. Okay, we're back. Um, right. Um, so I've downloaded a few things. We've downloaded Mambo, Pronger, a Grassland tile set, Stomp, which is a sound, and Jump, which is another sound as well. Nice. Stomp. Okay. Um, and last but not least, crash course behaviors. So let's just go in here now. Behaviors are in. Um, 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 um. What's it say? Uh, resource packs category over here. And so we'll be looking for. Uh, crash. Let's just see if that pops it up. Loading actor. Crash course behaviors there. There it is. Looks pretty similar. Let's download that. Um, and it says here, flip back over to Stencil Forge, but this time click on the resource pack category. Using the search boxes before, find and download the Crash Course Behaviors Pack. Note, Stencil Works includes a special resource type called Resource Pack. A resource Pack allows you to bundle resources together and distribute them as one single entity. You can download individual behaviors from Stencil Forge as well. Once the resource pack finishes downloading, it will be shown its contents. So, here we go. Uh, Die in pit and reload, jumping, stomp on enemies, stompable and walking. Yeah, that looks similar. Uh, let's just take a quick peek inside one of these behaviors. Double click on walking to open it inside of the design mode. So let's do walking, double click. And it looks like this. Now, if anybody thinks, hang on a sec, I've seen that before somewhere. The place where you've probably seen it before is in a little bit of software called Scratch, okay? Um, and Scratch is, um, what? Well, it's been around for ages. It's kind of like, um, I wonder if it if went on about here. Because uh, um, Scratch is a programming language that makes it easy to create your own interactive stories, animations, games, music, and art, and share your creations on the web. As young people create and share Scratch projects, they learn important mathematical and computational ideas while also learning to think creatively, reason systematically, and work collaboratively. It is a brilliant piece of a little bit of software um, and has an intuitive kind of uh, background as well. Do have a little play with that. If you've never played with it before, download Scratch and, and uh, look at the forums and the galleries and the projects just to see what people have done because it's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, for us, it looks pretty much like this. So if we can kind of look look deeply into it um, we can see um, let's go to the top um, so you've got these little um, kind of yellowy sections and they kind of grip hold of uh, kind of loops and commands and then you've got ones within within each each section as well so let's have a look so we keep on reading don't be overwhelmed by the large number of blocks or underwhelmed by the colorful interface design mode is a very powerful tool that makes designing complex logic quite straightforward we have a whole tutorial dedicated to helping you learn the workings of this editor, though for now, just know that it exists. Uh, and what I'll probably do is we'll probably just have a little check out the uh, the whole tutorial dedicated to this kind of stuff, and maybe spend a couple of weeks uh, kind of really picking it apart. And you can help me learn it as well, because um, within the comments we can kind of learn together, uh, ask questions and stuff like that. Uh, no, if you haven't saved your game yet, now would be a great chance to do so. So just hit the Save Game button in the main toolbar, and then click the name next page. Now, what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to save it. We're going to leave it there. We're going to kind of digest this kind of stuff, and then we'll pick up in another episode. Okay, so uh, just remember, uh, look for the Facebook page down at the bottom. Okay, or or maybe I'll put it somewhere around here, uh, which will connect you to Game School, my Game School page. Please, please like it. Please like this channel as well, because we're going to have a lot more stuff here. And um, uh, and do have a look at, at Stencilworks website. Download it if you want to, and do take a look at Scratch as well, because it's pretty amazing stuff. Um, apart from that, do leave comments. Um, don't be horrible, <laughs> uh, and we'll try and we'll get all this uh, all this done together and see what we can make of it. Okay, so until next time, uh, have a great have a great week. Bye.